Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to The Grid, QCTV's very own entertainment show. Thank you, thank you. Returning once again, I'm your host, Corey Lang, and I would like to take this time to give a huge thank you to everyone who turned in to our last show. We appreciate your amazing support, and for all the newcomers out there, thanks for checking out The Grid. It's a beautiful summer morning here in Champlin, Minnesota, and we are at Bowers Berry Farm. As conservators here at the museum, beyond that, we won't do a lot other than to make sure that it stays clean, that it stays dusted. We'll take the brushes and we'll clean the, the cracks around it. We will also add one thing that wasn't original. Since it's two by fours, we're going to put a handles on it so that we can physically get people to have a place to hold it, to pick it up, and be able to move it when it's no longer on exhibit. Literally, this is the cross section of the house. They just actually took a chainsaw and cut out the, the part where the mural was at. What a great organization. To learn more about Achieve and Achieve Clean, check out their website at achieveclean.org. We'll be right back with our special in-studio guest. Probably right. Here's McKinley on the breakaway, moving in. Oh, he throws it down! Wow, Joe! Oh, he threw that one down. He didn't look like he was going to, and he exploded over the top of Leisner. And gets the foul. And, and a throw down and one for McKinley Wright. The building in here is just exploding. You had uh, the fan section. Nearly coming on the court after that, uh, after that dunk. And... As, as far as the functions of the dive team, uh, we do obviously look for uh, uh, drowning victims that have gone in, but we do also occasionally are, we're used for finding uh, either weapons or articles, uh, pieces of evidence that have uh, gone into a water body and um, need to be recovered. Most often that's going to be a, a weapon like a firearm or a knife. There's a long shot there by Danager. Nice play by Krimble, earning the and one. Smith lost her dribble, gets it to a cutting Zimmer. Nice play, and Zimmer converts. Looks for the steal, doesn't get it. A pass inside, nice move. Up and good, nice layup. Slater comes up with it, tries to go up and under and hits. Oh, that's working it around the world, Pete. All the way around. Now coming up, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> I'm glad we're up a ways from that character. <laughs> And this is the 2015 General Festival float that is carrying Pat Miner, our president, VP Heidi Wells, who you just saw there on the microphone greeting the crowd, our button sales winners from Wilson Franklin and St. Stephen's Schools. Looks like they're all having a fun time. <laughs> it looked like they're having fun. Well, you know, after delivering a month of activities, <laughs> yeah. they're doing very well. Yes, they deserve it. I'd like to introduce our two guests, representatives from Minnesota's two major political parties, the DFL and the Republican Party, who will offer more details about how each of their parties approach caucusing.
Our map's dead. You know, I've been teasing the, the whole show about it. No, they are not dead. And the person who can answer that question is here, and her name is Krista Jack. She is with ECM Publishers. Krista, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so our map's dead. Maps are not dead. They are not dead. They are not dead. And you know it and I know it. And here's the reason that I know it is because we have her and ECM Publishers produce the chamber map for us. We're going to talk about that. People should watching the show should remember this that when 911 first came out it was emergencies only mm -hmm. and I still to this day probably 20 years ago that changed I tell people if you need to have an officer come out and take a routine report yep. call 911 and I'm sure you guys hear this all the time uh, yeah. oh no that's mm -hmm. for emergencies not true so yeah, right. I think when even within the 911 system there have been changes and I think that one's important it's really so much more efficient for us to get an officer there in a squad car That was really good news about the suspended sediment reduction, though. Did that help in any way in the mill pond restoration when you guys talked to the legislature? Is that, yeah, is that I, something that helps us move forward on that process? It does, because that was one of the commonly asked questions. Um, and we can positively tell them that all the, we got data that supports that this has been on the decline. couple of hives and we do a variety of things with the hives. Now our, our main focus is probably teaching about pollinators. Sherry Taplin is an interpretive naturalist at Wargo and she says her goal is in education, not in honey production. And for young kids it's really is continuing learning about insects so get that bees are insects, parts of insects and the social structure probably a little bit in the high of a beehive. I know that we, our viewers can't wait to sleuth in and find out all about those characters in your book. In the Seduction of Paradise. Find a copy at your library or on the website. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce to you and present the class of 2015. Congratulations, Rebels. never anything on cable. Why do I even pay for this? Dude, will you please quit flipping through the channels and turn it to QCTV already? Did you just say something? No, I didn't. It was the other person in the room. Yes, of course I said something. I'm sick of watching you flip through the channels. If you want to watch some quality programming, quit wasting time and turn it to QCTV already. How is this happening? And more importantly, how are you telepathically communicating with me? Look, man, quit worrying about specifics here. Ah! Ah! Why is 
is it that tell you to pick up your toys? My name is Julia, and I'm from Anoka, and I want to do a shout out to my mom. Shout out! But it's okay. Be calm. You got, you I got know. it, all right? Go ahead. Hi, my name is Aiden, and I'm from Ramsey, and I, I want to do a shout out to Gavin. Woo! What are some ways that we can do that? Just noticing our emotions. Um, it, you know, when you get home after a long day at work, it, it, if you you take a moment to notice, gosh, you know, I'm a little keyed up, I'm a little irritable, I'm a little anxious. It's gonna help you when you're dealing with your spouse or your kids because, uh, you know, right. we, we, we carry our day home with us and if we're aware that maybe I'm a little bit annoyed or frustrated because of stuff that happened today, I'm less likely to carry that into my interactions with my spouse or my kids. What the? What are you doing in my car? Oh, hi there, I'm just along for the ride. I was hiding in that piece of wood that you just picked up. I'm assuming you're having a campfire. Well, I'll, I'll just tag along and check out your healthy trees, maybe infest them and kill them off. <laughs> no big deal. Um, if they do, and if they're caught doing that, it is a misdemeanor offense. And before the start of the show, I, I just mentioned, I think this is a difficult statute to enforce. So let's talk about enforcement with uh, uh, Lieutenant Moroz. So uh, tell us about enforcement and some of the challenges. Well, as, uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Judge, there are three different things that we can apply to a distracted driving, one of them very specifically about the use of electronic uh, communication devices, either to, to send or receive electronic. I'm not sure what's about to happen next, but we're already off to a really bad start. And this situation is only going to escalate. So let's back up, figure out what could have been done differently to avoid this. Sixty-six percent of traffic fatalities are caused by aggressive driving. Hi, I'm Matt Overstreet from QCTV, or Quad Cities Community Television, and we provide government programming for Andover, Anoka, Champlin, and Ramsey, our four member cities. But did you know that we also provide entertaining community shows as well? Shows such as News and Views, your one-stop shop for everything that's happening in local government. It's Your History, a show all about the people, places, and events that make up our local history. And finally, The Chamber Report. 